as you can tell from the bottom bar. We are doing my summer essentials and I just have a few makeup products, hair products, all of that that I like to have for summer and yeah, let's stop blabbering and get on to the video. The first thing I like to have during the summertime is two or a few solid um, summer sunglasses that I can use that are like key statements to what makes me me. And so here I have my classic Ray-Bans and these were my mom's. She had them from the 80s and she passed them on to me because she didn't wear them anymore so she gave them to me. And I like these because they're just classics and timeless sunglasses that will never go out of style I feel like and they'll always be classic. And my second pair is a more like current trend which is the circle sunglasses from BP at Nordstrom's and I like the way they look and the way that you can style them so many different ways and yeah those are them. And my second favorites are good setting sprays. During the summer your makeup likes to tend to sweat off from the heat and stuff and so you need during the summer if you're going to wear makeup, which I rarely do, I try not to wear it as much because it's a time that I probably won't be seeing many people and I can just let my skin breathe. So these two I have here is Urban Decay All Nighters Makeup Setting Spray. Then I have my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and this one you can use as a primer or a setting spray. And I just picked this one up and I so far have liked it a lot. It has worked pretty well. I have had this one since like 8th grade. I've used this, not the same one. Um, and I, this one works great for me. I use it for dances when I need my makeup to last a long time. And this one seems to work just fine. So, But so far I really like this one. Next I like to have candles. and. The big candle place here on YouTube is obviously Bath and Body Works. I feel like there is a stage on YouTube where everyone had candles and it was in everyone's favorites and I feel like now they're kind of, ooh, let's go party, <laughs> um, kind of going out now but I like to have them for the summertime. You may think candles are more of a winter thing but I like them for summer too. So I have my big one in red guava lava and I got this one last year. And obviously, as you can see, they last you a really long time, at least for me. And this one is about like halfway full, a little less than halfway. And um, it's last me forever. It smells so good. And then I have my all-time favorite, Caribbean Escape, which is, I have this scent in everything. Hand sanitizers, lotions, everything. It just, it's a great summer scent. My next favorite is summer scents. I like to have during the summer more of a body mist than a perfume as I believe perfumes are more heavier and stuff and it just reminds me like the muscular scent is more of a winter thing and body mists are more summery. So here I have my pink sunkissed body mist in the little travel size. I have fallen in love with this one so good. I used to use this one every day last year during the summer and it's just an amazing smell. And then this one that I just picked up recently um, is a coconut milk mango one by Gobi Lovely Loom. And this one is a little um, roller ball and it's just a little travel one. It smells so 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 good like the other one. I feel like I'm saying everything that has a smell in this video, but these, all these are my favorite and I recommend. To me, these smell amazing and this one is just great summer scent, nice and fruity and great for summer and it just smells very, very delightful. Next are three summer hair products. Well, I mean, I use them all year long, but I use them especially during the summer is these three and I have my healthy sexy hair soy tri-wheat leave-in conditioner 
and this is very good for during the summer because when I'm swimming in pools and going to the beach my hair tends to get very dried out and so this just helps kind of revitalize my hair and make it so it's not so dry from the salt water and chlorine and stuff and so I just spray this in my hair after the shower while it's still wet and it acts as kind of a conditioner and there it's great to have and then I have my Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I like this during the summer if I don't want to style my hair like I didn't really today. Um, this is all natural. Um, I'll just spray some of this in it to give it that like beach spray look and or beach wave look. Look like I just came out of the beach looking all fabu waves tossed in my hair, sea salt all over, but you get that same effect by only using this without having to go to the beach, not included. I have my Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo and Not Your Mother's. So far, this is by far one of the best dry shampoos that I've used. I have used many different ones and they either turn my hair white or they don't work at all. I don't know if it's my hair or what it is. But so far, this is one of the best dry shampoos I have tried so far. So I like this product a lot and I recommend it if you're looking for a dry shampoo. My next ones are lotions. During the summer, once again, continue with the dry trend. My skin gets dried out from being in the sun and so on. So I need to revitalize it once again. The two products I like to use during the summer are a normal lotion. This one is Into the Wild by Bath & Body Works. This is like an old scent. I, all my other lotions look disgusting. So I got one that wasn't looking trashy and was still all fresh. Uh, this one smells pretty good and it moisturizes very well. I also have my Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. I use this one as like a self tanner sort of thing. It comes out white, but when you put it on your skin, it's got some kind of magical fairy formula in there that it just turns your skin tan and it looks great. And after a couple of days, or yeah, after a couple of days, you'll be looking like you were on the beach tanning without needing to tan, and it doesn't ruin your skin. During the summer, I like to have hats because they protect your face from not getting so much sun damage. So I have this classic little trucker's hat one that I use quite a bit when going to the beach and tanning. And I'll just wear this around and it'll look super cute. And it's just by Roxy. I got it a couple years ago. So you can find these at practically anywhere, like Sport Chalet, Tilly's, any of those kind of stores that carry Roxy or even they've got like cheap ones at Walmart I know they have like two dollar ones that are like really good and are just plain if you're looking for that baseball cap style since that's like all the rage right now and so you'll be looking fashionable by while still protecting your face and then I have my boat hat which is just a little boat hat sort of thing. I got this one in St. Martin when I was there. It's just floppy and it's, I think, I like it. I think it's cute. <laughs> and it's just nice and it protects your face once again. So no sun rays and it's shadowing my face. Oh and you can even flip it up if you want, if you want that cowboy sort of look. Next thing I like to have during the summer is a portable speaker. These are practically one of the best things to have during the summer. They just work fantastic. They can, sounds like you have like a huge, well not huge speaker system, but like a pretty big speaker system. I have used this at different parties and it sounds great. And this is just the iHome one. And when you turn it on, it just lights up different colors. And it's like a little disco party. And you wouldn't think that would be this loud for a little speaker, but it's very loud. And if you're looking for a portable speaker, 
that's not crazy expensive, I recommend getting it. I don't know what it's called, but just look up iHome Portable Speakers and you're sure to probably find it. Next summer essentials are magazines and books. Here I have the Seventeen magazine. I like to read magazines and books when I'm out on the beach and just laying out there or if I want to relax in the morning, I'll take a book or a magazine and read it outside, like listening to the birds with like the nice weather while it's not still hot because out in here in California, it gets hot like 100 degrees by noon. So these reading is very nice during the morning to eat with your breakfast and just read. And then my book that I'm in the process of reading is the John Green Paper Towns. And I haven't gotten very far. I'm trying to finish this book before the movie comes out. And the books are always better than the movies. So I'm reading Paper Towns before it comes out. Now I have one of my favorite things, flowy shorts. During the summer, I have practically almost completely stopped wearing denim shorts. I mean, I'll wear them every once in a while, depending. But I have practically moved over to flowy shorts. I have this one from American Eagle. It kind of looks like a skirt, but if you can see, they are shorts. And I just like them because you can either dress them up or dress them down depending on what you want. And then I have these tie-dye ones from Pat Sun that just have cute little detailing on the bottom and they're tie-dye. And right now I have been loving tie-dye during the summer. I don't know why. I just have been loving it. And so flowy shorts during the summer is an absolute must for me. They're just very comfy and it's like wearing pajamas but socially acceptable. Last thing on my summer essentials is a nice beach blanket or towel. I like having these to this one I got as a present from some of our friends in Australia. And it's just this thin material that kind of acts as like a little blanket or lounge thing. And I've been using this, let me tell you, so much during the summer. And I'll use this when I go to the park, when I have little picnics outside with friends, or when going to the beach and you don't want to use your towel on the sand, you can just lay out this and it's plenty big for you and some friends. And it's kind of, <laughs> it kind of looks like a poncho on the camera, but it is a blanket. I can't fit it completely on the camera, but you can believe me. It's like a little blanket sheet and it's just great to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed my summer essentials. Um, I hope this gave you some ideas if you needed some new summer essentials and thought what are things that I need for this summer as summer is one of the best seasons and why not go out and get yourself some different stuff from most all of this is pretty cheap stuff and you don't have to spend a buttload of money on it. I hope this gave you guys ideas and I hope you guys have a fantastic summer. Stay tuned for some more videos as I'm starting to get back into my videos. And I hope you guys have a fantastical day. Love ya! What are you waiting for? Fading in, fading out.